welcome to the Tim Hortons Cup Series Season 3 Race 14 at Darlington, the throwback race. This is also an elimination race, the bottom two of the eight remaining with the white name banners after today will be eliminated. Now it's your drivers to watch for. Austin Dillon captured his second pull of the season and starts on there. He is yet to win a race this year. Could that change today? While Kurt Busch is locked into the next round, he still has something to race for. If you finish first in the points for this round, you get locked into the championship for. If you finish second, you get two playoff points, third one. You could go back to back. That would go a long ways for him. Maybe even the longest. Brad Keselowski comes in eighth on the bubble. 11 points back. He's going to need a good run and climb from his starting position of 13th if he wants to advance. Kyle Busch comes eight comes in 8 points back and starts towards the back. He'll have to climb to the front in such an amazing paint scheme if he wants to keep his boy off hopes alive. Alex Wall is the other driver on the bubble, but he's the one on the good spot. However, he does start 19th, but he is it comes in 8 points to the good. If Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski start making some gains, he may have to make some up before it's too late. Let's hear Chase Grid as they start, and then the starting lineup. As you can see, it's a close battle for the last spot. Alex Bowman 3 in, Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski 3 points out. So that's going to be close. And I'll see you starting lineup. On the pole, it's Austin Dillon alongside Eric Jones. In row 2, we have Denny Hamlin and Matt Kenseth. In row three, it's Martin Trix Jr. and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Juniors. Next up, we have SHR teammates Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick. In row five, it's Daniel Suarez and Tony Stewart. Then we have Kyle Larson and William Byron in the sixth row. Both chase drivers. Then we have teammates Brad Kozlowski and Ryan Blaney. After them, it's best buddies Joey Logano and Kyle Busch. Then we have Cody Johnson and Eric Gomerola. After them, it's Alex One and Gavin Funk. By the way, Gavin Funk had the best throwback paint scheme we asked you guys, and that's what you guys said. And round out the field today is going to be Chase Elliott. Here's the race facts 18 laps, 6 laps, 6 laps, and 6 laps to finish. Austin Lone starts on the pole. Two drivers will be eliminated after this race as well. And right now, it looks like it's going to be Kyle Busch and Rekha's house, but they're going to try to say that green flag is in the air. And we are racing here at Darlington. Three wide for second already. As Denny Ham's going to get that spot. Matt Kenseth is starting to take third away from Eric Jones. Jones falling back. Jones in fourth, but now Ricky Sanders Jr. is going to try to take that spot away. As Ricky Sanders Jr. trying to use the momentum on the outside. Looks like Gavin Funk did get into the wall a little bit. Austin Dillon starting to run the high line. He's Danny Hamlin tries to make up ground on the inside. And around goes the 12. He looks like he might have gotten spun by Keselowski or something. Yeah, I wasn't clear on Keselowski. And that, that's, I don't know, it does look kind of suspicious because Kozlowski was about to fall a lap down. I don't know, there might be some argument in the garage uh, on Monday. Kyle Busch got the free pass, William Byron was too fast, actually, so he's to restart at the tail end of the field. And we're going to restart on lap 6 of 18. The green flag is in the air. We are racing. Kyle Busch, two points back of Alex Bowman, as you can see on the left side of your screen. And Austin Dillon, as he comes off of turn four, is going to win stage one. Danny Hamlin, second. Martin Trix, Jr., third. Eric Jones, fourth. And Ricky Schnauz, Jr., finishes fifth. Ricky Schnauz, Jr., with a huge run on the outside. As right now, it's Denny Hamlin, Martin Trix, Jr., side by side for second. As you can see, a flyby of the field as they head through the field. Looks like Austin Dillon putting Coy Johnson lap down. Trix to the inside for the lead. Heavy traffic as Austin Dillon continues to lead, and it looks like the 19 blew a tire. Up into the field goes the two. And there are four cars, five cars involved. Martin Trix Jr., Brad Kozlowski, his playoff hopes will be gone. Denny Hamlin will be done. Kyle Larson might still have a chance. It's probably 50 50. And Daniel Suarez will also be done. Looks like Suarez just blew a tire, got into the 2, who got into the 78. The 11 tagged the 2 and went up into the 42, who was going on the highest. Yeah, it looks like the 19, as he blew a tire, barely got into the 2. 2 went down, 
And two started to try to go around, and then Danny Hamlin just clipped him, and that set the two back up. Kozlowski had Hamlin not clipped him. Kozlowski might have been able to continue. And William Byron gets the free pass. That's the third down again. Chase Elliott on controlled tire, so he will have to restart the tail end. Kyle Busch took the wave round. Not a good idea at Darlington, but he's desperate right now. And that might be his best option. We're going to restart lap 12 18. Last up of the stage. Who will win? Stage 2. Greed flag. Eric Jones. Austin Dillon. Lead us to the green. Austin Dillon gets a run. Around goes a three into the inside wall. He will be done early. The dominant car. He led the first 11 laps. Looks like he had to go on the outside. Got tagged by a 17 as he was coming down to try to pass. Eric Jones, yeah, contact with the 17 sent him spinning, and he hit the inside wall. As we'll see that one more time at the real speed. New stage results. Eric Jones, racing out senior, Clint Boyer, Matt Kenseth, and Kevin Harvick. Eric Jones is going to restart first. He's pretty much locked up, making it to the championship four. As Joel Allen's free pass, he will now be one lap down instead of... Two laps down. Kyle Busch needs to finish eight, eight more spots above Bowman or finish fourth or better. The clinch. Alex Allen will finish twelfth or better or seven spot, seven or below spots below Kyle Busch. Green flag is out here on lap 14. Ricky Jones Jr. gets the jump as he will lead the field. As William Byron, Kyle Busch side by side. Kyle Busch just one point back as Eric Jones trying to go to the inside. Is Alex Bowman currently just tied? Yeah, he does have Chase Elliott and Cody Johnson in front of him. Chase Elliott's his team, and he's a big friends with Cody, so might be something that's really going on. As now Clint Boyer has come onto pit road, he reports the vibration, so he'll be done on lap set. He will just hopes to win the race. Are going to be done? As one lap to go, sponsored by Card One Bank, Ricky Jones here. So three-way tie for the final spot. Eric Jones to the inside. Can he do it? No, he can't. It's going to be Ricky Stiles Jr., Eric Jones, Matt Kenseth, Kyle Busch, and Kurt Busch. As Ricky Stiles Jr. gets his first career win in the Horn Cup Series, and he will celebrate it in style here at Darlington. As these six advanced, and Kyle Larson missed out by, he's tied for the last spot, yeah. He just had a worse finishing position. Um, worse, well, he had the best, tied for the best, second best finishing position with Alec Bowman. He had a worse finishing position, so it was Alec Bowman who got the tiebreaker narrowly by just a little bit. And I'll see you race results. Congratulations to the Pika player. First career victory for the race now. Sharing Andre Tuggle, including Gold Cup, and Nesco, full three, and Jonathan M coming in with top fives. Um, Kyle Busch finished fourth and eight spots above Bowman. The next race is going to be the Charlotte Roll. Make sure you don't miss that. That's going to be a wild one.